Cornwell and number one uh, head over to where there's been a uh, torpedo lodged into the ship, and they decided to disarm it themselves, And the sh but the shields are failing. And then back outside the ship, Burnham is having no luck with the temporal navigation. <laughs> the Enterprise is being torn apart around Non and Georgia when a Klingon cleave ship suddenly decloaks, tearing several Section 31 vessels apart. And then Saru's sister, Serana, piloting one of the Ba'ul fighters, calls on him. Chris, do you want to you want to make a reference to anything already? You know, <laughs> this is kind of like um, I don't know if I've ever talked about this show before on here, but this reminds me a lot of a of a episode of Doctor Who called Day of the Doctor. I know that's the first time I've ever said that. The only time it's ever come up. Hold your surprise. Yeah. <laughs> how? How? But like with her, like how? How is she doing that? Like she just figured out. They were living in paper huts a week ago. Right. <laughs> All of a sudden, she's yeah. an ace, ace fighter pilot. <laughs> well, I guess the same way that those airplane pilots from World War II were suddenly star fighters extraordinaire or something, right? Yeah, lots of training <laughs> and not dying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Pike is relieved to see Chancellor Laurel with Kyle at her side. Laurel orders her forces to destroy the enemy armada, and Saru warns Serana that the Section 31 ships have altered course to intercept her fleet because she brought more than one. Yeah. <laughs> and now, uh, you know, this is the last time we see her at all, I think. I don't think we see her again. I would really like to see her back on Strange New Worlds. I did actually come to really like her character. Well, that might be interesting to pull her out somewhere. I wonder if Strange New Worlds is going to work pretty hard on kind of being its own own show and not referencing much if they don't have to. Yeah, actually, if they if they're still moving forward with the Section Thirty One uh, show, she'd more likely be on that one. Either way, though. Yeah, no, it, it would be it would be nice to you know if you're going to establish a character, you know, you take the time to write them in a way that people like them. Do you know bring them back some point? Yeah, for sure. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Saru explains that the Klingons and the Kelpians were joining the fight, and the signal on Kaminar was intended to prepare them for the battle to come. Burnham admits that she has seen them fail and had seen them all die, but she had jumped to a future in order to avoid it. She had to go back and send five earlier signals to close the loop so control could not evolve. All right, so now we're getting into some weird timey-wimey stuff. Yep. <laughs> So it turns out, or it's going to turn out, or it is turning out that Burnham is the one who went around igniting the signals to get them to the right. Well, at least some of them. Oh, well, at least, yeah, at least some of them. To, so that way they'll do all the things they need to do to lock the correct uh, course in. 